On Wednesday, the U.S. mortgage demand fell for the second straight week, signaling a potential slowdown in the housing recovery, and employers announced an additional 170k job cuts in June. In the U.K., manufacturing stabilized in June following severe COVID-19 downturn. Switzerland saw a significant recovery of the services PMI in June. Welcome to Technol Update. I'm the I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Technol YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be looking at Canada's trade balance, the U.S. now farm payrolls, as well as the U.K. consumer confidence for June. Today, I'm looking at the pound-dollar pair, which was successfully supported by the Ichimoku cloud on the daily chart in the beginning of the week and is bouncing back up. The bullish sentiment appears to be strong enough to carry the pair back up to at least the previous high and 38% from that retracement level of 1.27 in the medium term. A significant trend change seems unlikely at the moment. What are your thoughts on the pound dollar price action in July? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll go back to you with more updates tomorrow.